In the 1970s, Armin Hagen Freyer von Hoenigen Hühne picked up a Hasselblad camera and started taking double exposure mm -hmm. self portraits, what we now call selfies, and became Peter Berlin. His career took off as gay men around the world instantly recognized his homoerotic images in magazines. Then all of a sudden, he dropped out of sight. Mm -hmm. 30 years later, he came out of silence in a documentary, Batman Peter Berlin. Raymond Donald Hong interviewed the elusive Peter Berlin in this segment eight years ago, and it's our most number one viewed video on YouTube with close to half a million hits. We're re-airing it this month and we'll bring you details on the upcoming photo exhibit and a chance to meet Peter Berlin himself when we return. If you lived in San Francisco in the 1970s, you may have noticed this mysterious character walking the streets, or pictured in homoerotic magazines. He never gave interviews. He only gazed at you silently through his self-made portraits with those blue eyes and full lips. His photographs exude the sexually charged atmosphere he inhabits. Many refer to him as the Greta Garbo of porn. Others look at his Dutch boy haircut and say that it's dinosaur with a heart on with that hair. In real life, he's Armin Hagen Freuher von Heuningen Hörne. But in print, he's known as Peter Berlin, photographer, artist, gay male sex icon, torchbearer of the hedonistic and sexually liberated 1970s. Like posters during the dawn of talking motion pictures proclaiming Garbo talks, this documentary by Jim Tushinsky announces Peter Berlin Talks. After 30 years of silence, this native of Germany speaks and answers the pent-up questions I had since my coming-of-age days. Why the long silence until now? And it's not so much about me, but that what I want to get across, what the world needs to hear, because the world needs to hear certain things. And at least I want to give my five cents to the discussion of what's wrong with our world. Because it's really necessary that we are all get rattled up and change our way. So I am feeling not as the greater garbo of porn or any of that, even that that sort of sounds good and there's some something to it. Because I'm very... Uh, uh, secluded and reclusive, but that's because I'm so damn shy. His decision to make double exposure portraits were more of a financial than an artistic one. I shot usually with the Hasselblad, what is a square format, and I felt like there is a lot of space left and right. So if I go to the left, I have a lot of space on the right. So I exposed the double to not waste space. And then it looked even like it was a big thought process, but it was basically not wasting uh, film space. One trait that runs throughout Peter Berlin's photographs is that he never smiles. Because I don't have a good smile. You know, some people have a good smile. I, I look very much better not smiling. I think my mouth looks better when it's open. <laughs> you see, I studied myself. And the other reason is that sex for me is a very serious business. Smiling and lovey-dovey and romance has nothing to do with good sex. But it's not all about sex. This film that was screened at the San Francisco International LGBT Film Festival is now on DVD and it recounts Peter Berlin's family history while growing up in Germany and later the effects of the AIDS epidemic on him. It brought a lot of sadness in my life and the realization that the only thing what really counts in life is not money, not career, not making a film, not making a photograph. It's the people who allow 
for you to be in their lives because they like you. Once when they are gone, you know what that meant that you could share things, what I now can't share anymore. So there's a big hole in my heart. For Outlook Video in San Francisco, this is Raymond Donald Hong. A solo exhibition of photographs of Peter Berlin, curated by Eric Smith and Mark Garrett, will be on display at Magnet at 4122 18th Street at Castro in San Francisco throughout the month of October. An opening reception is scheduled for Friday, October the 3rd from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. and Peter Berlin himself will be there and appear at Magnet for a special no holds barred Ooh, conversation <laughs> on Saturday, October the 18th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. For more information, go to magnetsf.org. And that's it for this month's edition of Outlook Video. To see our videos on the internet, point your web browsers to our YouTube channel at youtube.com and click on the subscribe button for notification for more videos from us. And you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Outlook Video. Outlook Video is made possible by viewers like you and our tireless <laughs> volunteers behind the camera. We close this month with scenes from Compared to What? The Improbable Journey of Barney Frank. On behalf of all of us at Outlook Video, Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next month. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye. Oh, I think that's mud in your hair from Calistoga. It is a sacrifice for anyone, and Barney made that sacrifice. Certainly, he uh, postponed happiness in order to serve the public. One time I stopped and I said to him, how much time do you put on your, this job? And he looked at me and he said, it consumes all of my life. He says, I spend all of my time on my job. And I thought to myself, you know, there are not many people like this.